Hello everyone, this is Paul Agustinelli for CMI VFX, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about this destruction tutorial for Cinema 4D that I've just finished making. Recently I moved to Brooklyn, and I was inspired by all of the gorgeous brownstone row houses that I saw in my neighborhood and in many of the others, and I decided that I wanted to create a VFX style and quality effect using the destruction, strangely enough, of a row house as the subject. Uh, after a bit of consideration and thought and a lot of research, I realized that this was a very doable effect right inside of Cinema 4D, uh, it could, and either by hand or with a plugin, which we are going to use, and that it would be a perfect topic for my next CMI VFX tutorial. I decided back when I was working on the MoGraph one that the, my next one was going to be about procedural dynamic animation with Mo, dynam Mo Dynamics, and when I thought about it, I realized that this was exactly what we were looking for. So I proposed the idea to Chris Maynard, and we immediately began geeking out on all the different possibilities of things that we could do to the building, like blowing out its windows and its doors, and crumbling it to the ground, and smoke and fire, and dust, and all the kinds of effects, and then sweeping the debris away with a tornado, and all kinds of other things. So once I actually started building the effect, I realized that one of the most important things that I learned and worked on was the actual modeling of the objects, and the baking of the image-based textures. So it was decided that in the interest of time and in try to make something that even a beginner user could follow along with on the first try the modeling in the animation uh, the modeling and the creation of the row houses would come first and that we'd save things like fire and smoke and the tornado for later tutorials so we focused on after building everything just blowing out the windows and the door and crumbling it to the ground and it came out pretty successfully. This is the actual project file, and it's um, m many less polygons and a lot less dynamics going on in animation for the sake of keeping the engine fast while we were actually working. But here is the final effect. And as you can see here, it just looks awesome, especially when all of this crumbles down. And you are going to have this project file. So you are able to render this out and work on it and see exactly what I did for the original effect if you so choose. Or you can just build yours from scratch and just following along with the tutorial. So I hope this gets you as excited as it does me because uh, it, this was definitely a thrill to work on and create. And the fact that this can easily be set up and created by one person and even with all the tweaking and setup necessary it can be done quite quickly is uh, very exciting to me. I think it's just great. So I hope that uh, you pick up the video and if you're a member I hope you watch and thank you for watching.